Et maintenant, je salue la présence parmi nous de deux jeunes délégués de la Bulgarie. Et donc, j'ai le plaisir de leur donner la parole. La Bulgarie. Mr. Chairman, distinguished delegates, we live in a time of great peril and magnificent promise. It is our collective will, commitment, and inspiration that we will follow the path we will follow. We, the Bulgarian youth delegates, have the honor to be among you today and represent the Bulgarian youth's proactive stance toward achieving increased international harmony and cooperation and providing a better understanding of global issues. We highly appreciate the opportunity to speak with the voice of youth in our country and take part in shaping the tomorrow's future. In our globalized world, we recognize the education as a key component for ensuring a sustainable and peace development of each nation. Two crucial aspects of the educational process, namely rights-based access to health education and the formation of social values as an element of culture of peace are often under underestimated and it hinders the youth engagement and involvement. Mr. Chairman, we allied with the assumption that education should not only be reduced to its economic implications, disregarding the importance of building key component skills. A more holistic approach towards the implementation of non-formal education in the school curricula should be established. Considering the globalized world we live in, it is crucial for the development of young people's personal skills in order to help them become responsible members of our society. Furthermore, the non-formal education is a key approach for establishing a better access to non-discriminatory, content-oriented, gender-sensitive, comprehensive sexuality education. It is an important element for the healthy well-being of each young person, and although there is no clear evidence for its impact over decreasing the HIV AIDS epidemic rates, it is crucial for promoting sexual reproductive health and rights and empowering youth to make more informed decisions regarding their sexual life. Speaking from personal experience, comprehensive sexuality education is a key for young people to acquire essential life skills, develop positive attitudes and moral values. Hence, the non-governmental bodies should be recognized and supported as one of the main delivers of CSC through the non-formal education by government, schools, and other stakeholders. Thus, we encourage governments to ensure programs and policies, as well as to remove all legal, structural, and social barriers, and to secure an open and free access to content-specific com uh, comprehensive sexuality education for young people in and out of schools in all regions. Mr. Chairman, now at a time of high youth unemployment, poverty, gender, ethnic or religious intolerance, many of us have lost sense of belonging to nations or communities have lost trust in the efficiency of governments and social skepticism is surrounding us. Education as means to build social values like humanism, responsibility, honesty, and tolerance, to construct a culture of peace, to strengthen the respect to compatriots and national institutions is more needed than ever. Worldwide, your education is increasingly focused on developing the student's knowledge and technical skills and often neglects to advance the virtues and emotional intelligence that are at the core of non-violent and peaceful lifestyle. The attention to building narrow technical specialization and the present fierce rivalry are often in contradiction with the mode of behavior in a spirit of respect, tolerance, and non-discrimination. A revision of the educational curricula is necessary for promoting values, attitudes, and competences such as dialogue, consensus building, and mutual respect. Hence, core subjects such as psychology, ethnic, ethics, 
analytic history have to be more practice-oriented, oriented to traditions and historical background. That would contribute to the development of each person individually, ensure succession, and at the same time, it could be a powerful unifying principle in the modern world. Mr. Chairman, since 1945, the world has experienced only 26 peaceful days. With the world crisis continuing longer than expected, the peace is increasingly jeopardized and we witness increased number of internal conflicts, insurgencies and violence. We, as young people, do not want to live in a world where other young people are suffering from the terrors of war, instability and insecurity. Youth, as having a key role in the peace and security, could be an agent of peace building and positive social change. This role could be fulfilled only by youth raised in line with values and sense of respect for the world surrounding us. Therefore, we strongly encourage governments, the UN system and civil societies to provide a collaborative framework to engage, empower and educate youth in peace building, solving conflicts and being an integral part in public life. We urge the UN entities to ensure that social values of youth are promoted not only through formal and non-formal education, but also through other interactive and current means, such as key messages in the social networks, movie art, or cultural festivals. We recommend that the implementation of the UN system-wide action plan on youth is conducted in line with the provisions of the Declaration on the Culture of Peace. We urge the attention is paid in the establishment of a new and permanent forum on youth as a body monitoring the implementation of the UN World Program of Action for Youth and the UN system-wide action plan on youth. Mr. Chairman, dear delegates, we as young people consider that in our rapidly developing and globalizing world, virtues such as humanism, responsibility, honesty and tolerance are of fundamental importance. The United Nations, as an embodiment of the international community, has the responsibility to highlight the essential role of education based on those values and to promote human rights as a key to developing a sustainable, peaceful and harmonized world. Thank you. Uh, je remercie uh, chaleureusement uh, les jeunes délégués uh, de la Bulgarie uh, de leur intervention.